Enea up top. So it's going to be really, really interesting um, to see how they deal with it. And that's going to be uh, a big factor. And we're off and away. Well, we thought we were off and away in the playoff. Alan Pacho is bringing us back. By the way, his assistants tonight, uh, Trevor Cotter and Conor Fitzgibbon. The fourth official is Mark Moynihan. We had a false start, but we are up and running. And Waterford go long, looking down the line for a washeria. But uh, go away, get the decision. Now throw in. Galway have taken over the main part of the main stand. The Waterford fans off to the right as you're looking at this match. You know, the, your, the first 10 minutes here or so is just when the team's going to feel each other out, see what, what they're doing. As I said, whoever gets on the ball and can get the ball down and play. And it'll be interesting to see what the manager's tactics are straight off. And you can see there straight away. Over the top, Walsh will chase it. What a season he's had. It's very well defended. It's out for a throw in. Getting back and taking no chances for Waterford. Killian Cantwell, the captain. Those supporters have come with a bit of hope and a lot of expectation. UCD, remember, await the winners of this in next Friday night's final, most likely at a Dublin venue. Here's Killian Bruder, who scored against Waterford earlier in the season. Into the box it goes. Patterson, we know what he can do in attack, but he's not afraid to get back and work hard in defence. No, he's been a superb player, uh, Oshin. Like, you know, he scored eight goals in the last seven games. And uh, was at 20 for the season. It's remarkable. You know, top class. We're in among the fans here in the terrace. Feels good. You can actually get an extra sense of buzz when you're down in the position we are. Dara Power went forward. Go away, deal with us. And Nea played with Shelburne. Helped them for promotion. Patterson, a pure magic player. Three goals across the two games against Treaty United. He's been immense all season. Waterford had many offers, but they hung on to him. They have the resources. Yeah, and that's a, that was a massive thing to where they are now, right now in, in the season. But I can see a lot more offers coming in after the season he's had. Shane Griffin. Baptiste knows all about uh, playoffs. Played two championship playoff finals. Lost one and won one with Blackpool. Beat Cardiff in one, lost to West Ham in the other. Waterford have it back. Patterson waiting in the middle. Instead, they go backwards to Niall O'Keefe, another man who's had a fine season. A local lad as well, Dara Power. Speaking of locals, Phoenix Patterson, who is now an honorary Waterford citizen given what he's done. Waterford give away the free kick, though. You can see already, you know, they're, they're letting them know they're there. And you can see John Covey jumping off the bench, uh, trying, to get, trying to get things going. And, you know, the, the players have reacted. Well, let's have a look at what happened there. Yeah. Yeah, he's come in from behind, yeah. He's caught Walsh on the, on the calf. I don't think it was Anton Sinister, in it. Niall O'Keefe with that tackle, one of the more consistent performers for Waterford. This is 35th appearance in all competitions. He has got eight yellow cards. You can see how with that kind of tackling. Yeah, but this is what this is what your manager would want. Let let them know you're there. Let them know you're in for a game. And he just done that and he got away. You know, so um, he just let them, I suppose Stephen Walsh know that he's not in for an easy game. I think Stephen already knew that. And Stephen will give it a good back as well. To be fair, Rushy. the experienced Stephen Walsh got married during the season. What a year he's had! All those goals, getting married. Yeah, I, I, I look, look at he's had an absolute fine season. I'd never have thought, even watching the game at the start, the, uh, start of the season, he came off the bench and I was like, why is he putting them up front? And then he scores two minutes later. So what would I know? Ronan Manning brought in to open up Waterford a little bit. Here he is. Baptiste brings him down. It's a free kick in a very, very dangerous position. And see, there, I think it's O'Keefe again, was it? It was Baptiste. Was it Baptiste? Yeah. So the. the Go, we are looking for a yellow card there as he's breaking through. Have a look, what it's do you a think? Good little play. Yeah, it's a, it's a definite free from, from seeing it first hand. Yeah, he's come across him. Yeah. This is an interesting position now where you're going to have Hurley. He's fairly decent from this distance. He scored eight goals this season for Galway United. David Hurley, formerly of uh, Cove Ramblers. Also played a bit of Gaelic football with uh, St. Michael's, the Cork Senior A champions they won last weekend. 
Conor McCormick is there as well. And you have Manning, I think. Is it Manning? I think that's Manning. Yeah, it is Manning. You might see Manning. It is going to be Manning. The wall does its job. And then it's just smacked away with a bit of interest. That's a clearance and a half from Awasharia. Conor Kearns. Still only 24, but very experienced. Has played for Pats and UCD, along with Goal United. From Dublin, but said it. He hasn't for one day regretted his move to Galway. He said it's a, it's a great city and he's loving his football there. He'd love it even more if he could get to the Premier Division. Get back there, I should say. He's played there before. Ball over the top for Hurley to chase. Just a little bit too much on that one. We have a, we have a fella that shared the pitch with Neymar Salah. Mas Adam Thomas, Mas yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah in the right. Olympics. So unbelievable. Yeah. 2012. Couldn't believe that when I read it. And Mo Salah scored for Egypt against New Zealand. Right. Adam Thomas was playing. None of the Brazilians you mentioned, though, I think, uh, got goals in those games no. in the Olympics. They also played Belarus. Quintara tried to keep it alive. Quintana, I beg your pardon, but couldn't do so. It is everything we expected from the start of the game. No one wants yeah. you to take any chances and just no real patterns of play. No, no. nothing. Oshin, and to be fair, I, I think John Covey will probably be the happier at the way they started. He, there isn't much in it, but they've... You know they've taken the, t I suppose taken the game straight away. But Waterford, we seen last week against 3D, they were a bit slow to start, and then when they get into the rhythm, they're very, very good. A 65th game between these two. Galway have won 21. Waterford have won 18. There has been 25 draws. Two clubs that have had their ups and downs over the years. I think it's fair to say. Walsh again was the aim but it was cut out it was really well read by Baptiste he's showing his experience exactly and I'm sure that's why Danny has put him in uh, in there at centre half just to he's used to these big occasions he's not going to get overawed by it or anything like that but you can see he read the game well but you can also see the way Galway they're looking for that quick little ball and uh, Walsh is playing on the shoulder made 21 Premier League appearances with uh, Blackpool scored two goals that season hoisted in and well taken by Paul Martin who's from Kilkenny but says Waterford is his club from Paulstown of course, his brother John has made it to Europe with Dundalk. That's a bit like you saying you're from Waterford a Corkster Club, yeah? Don't start now. <laughs> O'Keefe. And it's City, not Cork, you know that. Yeah. Well, we'll give you the City. We won the league, we'll let you off. <laughs> Baptiste. Dara Power. Baptiste. You can see how high uh, Subo Ali is, is playing. He's playing like a right winger way out there. Um, and that's what I think Danny likes the, his fullbacks. And you see Patterson coming in to support. It's, uh, it's great. They have a great understanding. Three clean sheets from 10 starts in the first division regular season for Paul Martin. Obviously against Treaty United, they conceded a few goals. Is that a worry or in that second leg was the job done so it kind of didn't matter? Yeah, I think it has... A, <laughs> They kind of got a bit of a shock, and I think when once they went in on half time, and they they regrouped, uh, they came out and they you know they seen the game out. It is difficult for one, but they were lucky. Oh, they've given the ball away. You can't afford to do that. Running in behind his Paterna, but he wasn't spotted, and Nea couldn't pick the pass to him. He did win it back, much to his credit, and now he has the free kick. Yeah, Adam Thomas, I think they gave it away there. He just you know he gave it away. To, He's just pulled them down, and it's a uh, dangerous position here for um, for Waterford. Well, we might get another look at that. Like he's, he's just played a little blind pass, uh, pushing across, and you know they say you never play straight across your goal, and he's uh, he's kind of just didn't look. He didn't see the striker there, yeah. What's it going to be for Waterford? Patterson leaves it behind. It's a tipping shot and it's oh. fumbled in. Somehow it dipped in. It's not one that Conor Kearns will look back on with any great amount of pride. Waterford don't care. They lead by one goal to nil. Yeah, they disappointed Conor Kearns and I was just about to say it, Ushi, when they rolled it. If he hits this, it would this slippy surface. Oh, he'd be disappointed, Conor Kearns, with that. What a strike that was from Caterna. Well, he he got it on target. I say what a strike. It was really more of a goalkeeper error than a, a good effort. He got it on target. That's really all you can ask. But 
Waterford have the lead. That could be a huge goal. Yeah, it could. And look, they did close it down fairly quick, Hurley. But did it take a little touch on the way? Uh, I don't think there's any excuse, though. No, there's I, no excuse. He had it, and then he's, he's fumbled it. Yeah, unfortunately. And it's they, these are the these are the, the things that change. The little things that change in, in these big games. The momentum swings. Quaterna's second goal against Galway this season. He scored in the 2-1 win in August. It's his 12th of the season overall. He's been among the goals, and that is the biggest one so far. Yeah, it is, and it will settle uh, Waterford down rightly now. And, you know, it's disappointing, a sloppy free to give away in the first place. And, and you know, being punished that, in, in that sense, it's, uh, it's disappointing. Well, in the previews to this game, the general consensus was that if... Waterford got in front goal he might struggle even more because they're not a team that chases games well that's a good ball forward by Enea Enea rolled back out to Dara Power Dara Power rolls it wide Patterson Patterson doing his step overs and tricks it's a decent cross to the back stick or so I thought initially but Galway will get it away coming over is Niall O'Keefe dinked over him by Conor McCormack the experienced loud man McCormick couldn't keep it in play. Waterford have to throw in. Well, let's have another look at that goal. It's difficult to see. It's just disappointing. Kearns will, 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 will be, he'd be disappointed with that. Oh, we'll get another replay in just a second. Out to Patterson it goes, but there was just a little bit too much on that. There. The Waterford fans won't mind seeing this yeah, time it, and again. I think it took a, a nick off someone's head on the way in as well. Flicked on. Conor McCormick. Baptiste. Back down towards Baptiste's area, but he was beaten to it by McCarthy. A good knockdown to Manning. Manning with Dara Power stuck to him. Manning did really well to get to it, but Power just put the pressure on him and Manning fumbled it out over the line. Yeah, Waterford seemed to be just a little bit on top. The thing is a little bit frustrating now for Galway. They would have been rocked with that goal. Um, but look, you know, you can't in these games you can't feel sorry for yourself and uh, you have to get on with it. And it's how they react now in the next 10, 15 minutes. James Finnerty rolling it outside. Conor O'Keefe. Finnerty arrived on loan from Bohemians. Max Hemmings. Manning. Just too many blue jerseys around there. And that's a foul by Hurley. And James Finnerty was a a relative regular in the Bulls team he had played seven times in the Premier Division this season before moving to Galway played against Eddie and Ketty and Emil Smith Rowe while he was at Aston Villa in the under 18s Joseph Alou who actually spent time at uh, Cork City on loan was in the Arsenal setup at that stage as well yeah I was actually when, when, when Galway United got him I was like surprised because as he said he was a regular at Bulls and he was a very done very very well there so I thought it was a great um, coup by, uh, by John Caulfield to get him and I know you're always looking for Sligo Rovers connections. Robbie Burton was also in the Arsenal squad when right. they met that day. You've done your homework, Oshie. I have no life. <laughs> Over the top it goes from Cantwell. They can go long and direct when they need to. Shane Griffin was waiting for it, but it's Coturnit, Junior. Continued his underlapping run, then went outside to collect it. But he's dispossessed, Hurley. Once again, Walsh is the only outlet up top. Yeah, and that's the, you, you look at the difference in, in both sides. You know, when Go United are breaking, all they have is, is Stephen Walsh to hit. When Waterford are breaking, the interchange between Patterson, Razim and Junior is, is, is very, very good, along with Sobi Ali joining in with them. Patterson had a runner on the overlap. That was Dara Power, didn't go. Now he does, Dara Power. Griffin. Dara Power. Hurley intercepts. Again, Walsh is running up top. This time there's an option out wide trying to get there for Galway is Ed McCarthy. Yeah, and it's, it's, it's difficult. He's been crowded out again, not enough bodies. And you look back here, there's two, four, five uh, sitting at the back. 
Now they have a chance to get across it. Conor O'Keefe. The pullback was met by Killian Cantwell. That's no nonsense defending by Killian Cantwell from the cross of O'Keefe, the 29 year old. He's never scored for Galway. Tonight would be a good night. There's Danny Searle. Hemmings. It's a decent looking ball to the back stick. Galway supporters feel maybe they had a penalty shout there. The attack continues and Baptiste gets in the way. But it comes to McCormack. Hemmings. Back to McCormack. Who chips it in. That is a miscue. Might fall for Hurley. Tries to trap but didn't manage to do so. The former Cove Ramblers player gets something on it. Gets it forward but again Waterford are able to cut it out. And now they've won the free kick. Yeah, look at Waterford doing well defend. I thought they dropped a little bit deep there when the ball came out to McCormick. There was no pressure. It allowed them to put that delivery into the box. But in fairness to them, uh, they delivered, I think it was Junior that had a swipe at the ball there and just put it uh, under unnecessary pressure. pressure. But, um, you know, I, let, I suppose I let off of Waterford. John Caulfield prowling the sideline. Patterson ready to feed off scraps. It does fall kindly for Awasharia. But he's just crowded out. Intercepted by Griffin. Galway. Shovel it clear. Chasing after it now. Subwale. Cantwell. Again, Waterford have numbers at the back. And Walsh is a lone gunman up front. Flicking on and they are well attempting to do so. Falls into the path of Ronan Manning, Conor McCormack, Max Hemmings, Finnerty, Bruder, intercepted by Niall O'Keefe. Again, they go backwards. That was said McCarthy. Kearns. Well, the Goa United fans are doing their best to lift their team. And that's easy again. And again, it's Cantwell. He needed to be carefully was James Finnerty, but then nipping in with Subawale. Well defended, getting across Conor O'Keefe. And just as I say that, he almost lost it. Conor McCormick, always tidy on the ball. Killian Bruder. Niall O'Keefe was waiting. McCormick, smart turn, nice little lean in, fell to Adam Thomas, who arrived here on loan from Shelburne. That's well, arrived to Galway United on loan from Shelburne. That's excellent by Waterford, though. They're, they're, they're pressing, and they're, as soon as the, uh, a mistake happens, they're, they're, they're pressing in numbers, which is great. And Galway are struggling to get out here. They do try and keep it, and then they go along. But when they go along, there's nothing with Stephen Walsh up top, and that's where they're struggling. It's, you know, it's actually a good setup by Waterford, not allowing them. They're happy enough to let the centre halves have the ball. Well, Danny Searle is sticking to what he said before the game. Mm. We are going to attack. It's how we play. Why would we change now? And that's it. Stick to what's been good, working for them for the last couple of weeks, and uh, you know, with the occasion, and be brave. And to be fair, they are. Finnerty, Bruder, McCormick said, "Go outside." Back to Bruder. Close down again. A washeria. He's getting through some work there without getting a whole pile of touches on the ball yeah it's tough when they're moving it across and, but in fairness in front uh, behind them they're doing very very well the lads along the middle O'Keefe um, uh, even Patterson here on this side they're not allowing it so they're happy enough for, for Go United to have the ball in their half like this Finnerty and again we go back so there's no options there's got to be a bit more movement from Galway you know it's, it's very static are they right to maybe kill the game for a few minutes though? Take the sting out of it. Look, you're chasing the game, Mushing. You're alone. Yeah, but you have a lot of time. You do have a lot of time, but time doesn't be long taken. Oh, don't I know it? 
Back to James Finnerty. Uh, at some point, you need someone to be brave and get on it and make something happen. Finnerty. Nothing but blue in front of him. And you've got to give credit here to, to Waterford as well for keeping their shape. Now Galway tries something more direct. And it breaks kindly for Patterson. Dara Power. Aimed it up towards Arashiria, but kind of came back the way it was said. But Anea is there to get it. Back to Arashiria. Out wide it goes. Sabuale. Waterford get numbers into the box. Sabuale, can he get a cross in? Yes, he can. It was deflected. It's out for a corner kick. And there you go, Oshin. They, they will soak up all that. that going out and have the ball, soak it up, and they break at so much pace. And Sabuale is just like a right winger there, to be fair. He's, he's up and down. Patterson goes over to take the corner. He has the world at his feet at the moment. I wonder if Waterford will go up, will he stay? They have the resources. They don't need to sell him to another League of Ireland club. But it, does the, what's the player want to do if they don't go up, you know? So it's all down to the player, really, isn't it? it is. yeah, well, the picture will be clearer after tonight. Patterson with the corner. Looks like a decent one. Cantwell got to it. It's scrambling around. Go away. Get it away. That was some chance. And they might get another one here. Hit it is the call. Again, it's blocked and it's a flex for Hurley. Manning's the only one in front of him. Hurley brings it along himself. He finally has support in the shape of Ronan Manning. Easily cut out by Cantwell. Heavily involved in both boxes so far tonight, Cantwell. Max Hemmings. They, they, they. It's frustrating because they had the initiative there going forward, and they've come, they've come back again. Oshin, but they need to drive forward when they when they had the, the bodies forward. They, they're picking the easy pass of coming back. Now here's Hurley. Hemmings gets the pull back away, and stretching at the back post was Ed McCarthy. Just couldn't get to it. What a ball in for Hemmings. It was and inviting, wasn't it? Just for someone to. It was a wall to the back stick. Here's another look. And look, when you take these chances and going forward, yeah, it's a great chance, two chances. Ed McCarthy, I think, as well. That's right. Well, Max Hemming is showing good attacking intent there from Brighton, but uh, joint go away from USL one side, Greenville Trump. Won a US third tier title. It was also very decent in college, won competitions and awards. Here is the water a chance from the corner. Cantwell getting on the end of it. It's actually good defending by Stephen Walls there. He's done well. And that's his bread and butter. People might forget yeah. that he is a defender by trade, by and large. And that's that's it. Like, a, like a, he's actually saved his team there from going two behind. And sometimes, as a, you know, as strikers they do switch off. But his natural instinct is, is first and foremost as a defender. Paul Martin. Not an overly convincing goal kick or kick out, but did its job in the end. O'Keefe sends it back down towards Kearns. It's an injury for Hurley, I think. It's O'Keefe again who's come in hard on him. And I think it was just a, an accidental collision when O'Keefe went up for that ball. That Oh, yeah, no, it was 100% that. So this is the foul leading up to the free kick. Yeah, it's, he's, he's pulled his shorts in front of the referee, so... Yeah. yeah. He's a choice of two there, doesn't he? Because he put his hands on his shoulders and everything. Yeah. And it, look, it, you do that sometimes. When you do give away the ball, you want to win it back as quick as possible. And nine times out of ten, you'll always give away a free because you're frustrated with yourself. And unfortunately, he got punished for it. And Junior Guterno was a very, very... I keep saying it's a good shot, but I, I, there's a deflection and the I keeper fumbled. Yeah, I think it deflected off someone's head here, mm. and then it's 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 kind of gone off the eye line of of Kearns. It definitely took a deflection, but he should have done better. Well, the former Charlton player became a fairly instant fan favourite. He'll be even, an even bigger favourite if if that's the goal that wins this.
We might get another. Well, we will definitely get another look at that goal. But the pernickety might argue that the touch wasn't strong enough for. As maybe in, there was a technical foul in, in a whole, basketball sense in well, the lead-in. Yeah. Well, 2013 Cup final, Joey and Doe did a roll. Do you know, so I don't think I'm not sure what the rules are. Um, to be honest with you, Shane, but it'll be worth looking at again. Back it goes to Martin. The game is quieting down. I'm not sure from the goal of United point of view is that a good thing or a bad thing. Cantwell tried to flick it onto the path of a runner. And again, goal of United get rid of it. Manning chased by Dara Power. Manning does well to hold on to it and get it to Hurley. McCormick is wide open on this near side as we look. It's a dangerous looking run. And it's a free kick. I think we'll see the first yellow card of the game and that's what you want. Um, you know, Ed McCarthy coming in off the line like that. Hurley's done well. I thought I was, I was going to say he has to see McCormick out this side, but he, in fairness, he, he held on to it, got McCarthy in, and McCarthy... You know, coming in off the line like that at pace. Ed McCarthy so unlucky not to get a boot on that ball that was put across by Max Hemmings. Knows this place very well, Ed McCarthy, formerly of Treaty United. Here's another look. Yeah, look at he's been direct and he's look, he's been positive and that's the Yeah, he's just kind of leaned into him and pushed him on the back. So. To, to be fair to Subuali, he, he, that's his first foul of the game, and it's probably the previous fouls that's happened. You know, O'Keefe and uh, I don't know, it was a junior before, so it's probably um, a build up to them that he ended up getting yellow card. Now, a member of Angardi Shirkana is talking to the referee. We obviously don't know what they're saying. Alan Patchell is our referee. Is he just informing them that we have a stoppage? for a few minutes for some reason I, I won't even speculate what because we don't know what we do know is play has stopped Alan what have you made of the game so far? Yeah look um, as we said at the start it's going to be a, a, a difficult one for both sides but I, th I think look at Go United would be disappointed um, to concede the goal they didn't but I I feel like Waterford are being the better side they're passing it better Galway when they go forward they don't have enough bodies forward and um, you know they need to start um, getting bodies forward and be more positive just a bit like, a bit like how Ed McCarthy was there and to be fair you have to give credit to the Waterford lads up top the interplay between the, between the three is excellent ok well we don't know why there's a stoppage we hope everything's ok is Junior Coterna with the only goal so far I think while it was a decent strike it took a deflection and Connor Kearns the refer the goalkeeper Yeah, it's there's the goal, uh, Oshi. So, should the ball really have a full, full roll? He's just basically touched the, touched the ball. So, uh, be interesting. Here we go. Look at Oshi. Yeah, it hasn't even rolled. So it'd be interesting. Now, the reason the game has been stopped, just to get back to that for a second, there is a structural issue with the terrace behind the goal, with the stand behind the goal. Now what that is, I don't know. That's all they've said on the PA announcement. Yeah, I think m maybe the Gardaí or something have seen it from behind. Maybe there's something they weren't happy with. And uh, I suppose it's it's better safe than... Um, yep, don't take any risks. Don't take any risks. Why, why take any risks? So fair, fair juice to the Gardaí if they spotted it. Now there's a lot going on between what's going on behind the goal and um, the debate about the free kick and whether or not whether or not the ball had rolled enough. So, and I'm obviously reading this just to clarify, putting the ball into play in 1887, it was specified that the ball must at least be rolled over before it shall be considered played. This requirement was made more precise in 1895. The ball must make a complete circuit or travel the distance of its circumference before being in play. In 1997, this requirement was eliminated. The ball became in play as soon as it was kicked and moved. And um, I think that clarifies it. So there we go. So a uh, touch is enough, yeah? Yeah, touch is enough. I could have just said that, couldn't I? <laughs>
Yeah, and I think I think in fairness, when he did, uh, when um, Patterson did, he just touched it, and you could see it move a little bit. So look, I suppose it was the rules are changed, and who'd want to be a referee? Yeah. Okay, so they're clearing that stand behind the goal because of the um, structural issue. Now, earlier on, you might know that the Ireland under-16 team were playing in the Victory Shield final. Here are the goals. It was a good day for Paulo Sam's team. And another iconic day in the orange jersey. The women qualifying for the World Cup wearing theirs and the oh, under-16s well. winning the Victory Shield. Well done. Good finish. A top of the table clash because both teams had had two wins. Very well worked goal. No one's playing the music. <laughs> People have confused us with the PA announcer here. <laughs> we are literally in the crowd. So these are the goals from the under-16 game. This is turning into a crazy situation. By the way, if we were playing the music, what would you like to hear? La, 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 la. <laughs> well, I'd rather play it than let you sing it. That's for sure and certain. This is a fantastic occasion, by the way, for Paul Sam and his team. It has everything. It has everything. <laughs> Yes, we are live on LOI TV. Yeah. So that's OK. So this is the uh, Victory Shield being presented. A nice moment. There's Matt Brown. It's not an Irish sporting uh, event or victory if Matt Brown isn't there to take shots of it. And there he is taking the shots. A nice moment. A good moment. These young players will remember that for yeah, the rest of their lives. It's great. It's great for the future. And Paul Azam is doing a great job. I spoke to him a couple of weeks back down in Sligo. And, you know, he's very, still very passionate about the game yeah. and stuff like that. OK, so let's recap. The game was stopped because there was a structural issue in the stand behind the goal. We were also having a debate as to whether or not the ball needed to fully roll, as in roll its circumference before it was played by Junior Quintara for that uh, goal that he scored. The answer is it's fine. What he did was fine, so the goal should stand. We were also asked by someone, could we play some music, who confused us with the PA announcer. She didn't offer us any of her curry chips, by the way, which no, I noticed as well. But I remember my first drink as well, was <laughs> <laughs> I think we're about to get back underway and uh, actually watch some football. This is why we're here, just in case you forgot. So the stand has been emptied. We're OK to keep going. And the fans have been dispersed. There is lots of room around the place. Now, the only trouble is, is lots of them have come to this side and they're blocking our view. So we're fine as long as the ball doesn't go into the channels. And our singer is back waving at us. Oh dear. And by the way, I, I had completely forgotten Goa had been awarded a free kick, and here it comes. They have, and so, I, I see them going to think about making a change as well. I say, would, would it be Hurley that's struggling? McCormick and Hurley standing over this one. Manning's also there. It's a decent looking strike. It takes a deflection. I think that's Griffin's head. It came off, and it goes out for a corner kick. Yeah, he's caught that well, and um, it was a good strike, a good defending. David Hurley goes over to take the corner kick. Manning has dropped short. It's a decent corner. It's also a very decent clearance. It just bounced away from Ed McCarthy, who retrieves it and gives it to Hemmings. What a header. Uh, who was it that was coming in at the back? Was it Jarrah Power, no? Yeah, Dara Power, if it was, what a header. He's just taken it off. Well, let's have a look. Great delivery. Oh, it was Bas Bas yeah. it was a Baptista. Yeah, what a header. And, in, and Dara Power got smashed in the follow-up. David Hurley is going off, so obviously he took that knock and hasn't been able to recover from it. Rob Manley is coming in. Joins Galway from Bray, knows all about being in the first division and getting out of the first division this will be interesting he probably dropped Stephen Walsh back in um, to where Hurley was yeah it looks like it and Dara Power is coming off or sorry, going back on Max Hemmings 
A little bit of a heavy touch from James Finnerty, but no one around him, so he gets away with it. Long into the wing, but very well dealt with. Uh, Subba Wally was there waiting. The chase is on. McCormack fast off the mark and just allows it to go out of play. The break would have done really well as well for Galway. John Caulfield would, would, have, would, have, would have got his players in and said what he wanted. And you know, it probably disrupted Waterford to a, a, to a bit as well because they were fairly in the ascendancy. The clock means nothing, by the way. If you've just tuned in, we had a long stoppage due to a structural issue in the stand behind the goal. So the fans have kind of taken their position on the terrace here, right beside us and around us. So our view partially obscured. Go it, get a throw in. Junior with the only goal of the game so far. McCormack touched it back out. Mm. They get away with that. James Finnerty. Washeria again probing and hunting. Ball over the top. They're looking for Rob Manley. He really can get on, on the end of those kind of diagonals. Walsh. Hemmings. Flick back inside. Nicely so by Manning. Hemmings. Decent looking full pullback. And again, Waterford deal with it well. Here's Niall O'Keefe. How cool is that in his own box? Maybe too cool. The shot from Manning. Rebounding away, and Waterford only partially get it away. McCormack lifts it back in. Well dealt with. Trying to get something on it there was Anea. He didn't really. Hemmings, dangerous in these positions. Hemmings comes back to him. Hemmings, a whip ball, which Martin does very, very well with. Yeah, that's better by Gawi and McCormick. McCormick's got it. He's played it out wide, and Hemmings is having, um, having the last couple of minutes, but see this uh, yeah Hemmings has done really really well it's great great delivery again just tried to, it was a manly to try to flick it but O'Keefe was very relaxed there on the edge of the box box and um, in fairness to Baptista here he's yeah he's, he's, he's uh, got a great block in well, Stephen Walsh as you predicted has dropped that bit deeper he's already won a few flick-ons with Rob Manley up top yeah and what, what you will get with Stephen in there is he gets so much energy and he never stops running he never stops working so it's a different kind of uh, a player in around for O'Keefe in around there but he'll have to keep an eye on him and I assume that Hurley went off because of injury maybe it was tactical no I think he was limping coming off I yeah. think that tackle that he, whatever way he fell wrong I think after O'Keefe tackled him and it's certainly been changed up as a result of that change yeah. a different approach by Galway and as I said, yeah, the last couple of uh, last two games, substitutes have come in and done excellent for Galway and, and uh, got them uh, the results. A flick on by Walsh, but it comes to Martin. He's being pressurised by Rob Manley. Rob Manley still only 24. Seven goals for Galway since his move. This is 15th appearance for them. Shane Griffin. Dara Power is making a kind of a sneaky run down the left-hand side. Wasn't spotted. Griffin tidies it up. Cantwell. Always looks so composed on the ball. Saboale. Martin. Martin goes direct. Ed McCarthy. Ed McCarthy pressurised, but he did well. Bruder comes off and there, out for a throw in. The momentum has been taken out of the game, and, and to be fair, that actually happened even before the stoppage. It, it has, and uh, look at uh, Galway probably come out the better uh, since the stoppage, and um, John Coffey will be happy with that reaction. Look at they're still in the game; it's only one nil. And uh, they are a bit of a threat when they go forward, but a lot of the time they take that easy option of going back. But they need to keep giving the ball here to Hemmings. He's, he's getting a bit of joy down this side. Conor McCormack, who played for John Caulfield at Cork City as well. McCormack looking for McCarthy, but it's cut out. That was a high boot, Ooh. free kick. Yeah. Rona Manning. Protesting his innocence, the referee saying, you know what you did, let's just play on. Yeah, I thought he'd done well to flick it away and I thought he actually got caught, but 
referee's giving it the other way. It was a high boot in fairness. If you show the studs, you're in trouble. Not too much trouble though, no card or anything like that, nor should there be. Baptiste Cantwell. He'll have to go again. I spoke to Jonathan Higgins of Galway Bay FM before this game. He's doing radio commentary. He said we could be here until half ten. I assumed he meant extra time and penalties, but the way this game is going, it could just be the 90 minutes. Yeah, well... Look, at it, as I said, it's, it's still, we still have, go United still have a bit of time and, you know, it's going to be a good, what, five, ten minutes added on here at this half. And Look, it's about the manager's going in at half time. Obviously, Danny will be happy, but he'd be want that second goal. John Caulfield, you know, the last ten minutes of the game, if it's still like this, he's going to fire everything at it, um, as normally John Caulfield's teams do. And the Waterford fans still with the sense of hurt and taste of bitterness from how last season ended they went 1-0 up in that playoff final against UCD but UCD found a way to win it and they always find a goal scorer don't they they lost Colin Whelan through injury but unearthed it Thomas Lonergan Lonergan yeah he's absolutely brilliant like and they always produce them quality players don't they Roland Manning Manning turning and twisting cleared by Shane Griffin despite the pressure from Adam Thomas Bruder Ed McCarthy McCormack wants it and gets it loves to direct traffic from that kind of central area Conor McCormack out wide from Ed McCarthy Hemmings Hemmings decent cross oh, what and it's ball. out for a corner kick Cat Killian Cantwell taking no chances that was a great ball and you know, you know what Oshin Every time Ed McCarthy gets on the ball, he's actually looking to, to turn forward and, 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 and create stuff. And he's done it there again, a great switch out across to Hemmings. And Hemmings is getting so much joy down this side, and they've got to keep using them while they have that joy. Well, Walsh and Manley in there, two men who can win headers. It's Waterford who win that battle. And a snapshot sails over. More of a half volley than a snapshot, but either way, missed the target. Yeah, it was good. Uh, good clearance by was it Cantwell? Good header. Ed McCarthy couldn't keep his shot down. Like, to be fair, the, the deliveries from set plays have been relatively really really good tonight. Especially from corners. There's a second ball on the pitch. It's being cleared off camera. Paul Martin about to take the goal kick. header clear a strong header flicked up rather than on by Walsh falls to Shane Griffin chasing after it to Washeria Saboale again flicked on no one to run onto it though McCormack Finnerty Bruder, Finnerty. Finnerty trying to slalom forward. He was pushed by a washer. Yeah, it's a free kick. And what you see there, Rushing, is, is uh, Manning is causing Dara power, um, giving him a little trouble there. He's, he's coming in off the line and it's allowing Hemmings to go. And Patterson is tucked right in. But Walsh tried to get a flick on. Baptiste beat him to it. Waterford prevents the corner kick. Sorry to cut across you, Alan. No, yeah, no. It, it's just that he's, he's causing power. Power doesn't know whether to go in or stay with Hemmings. And that's why Hemmings is getting so much joy as Patterson is coming in narrow. And uh, in fairness to Manning, he's picking up great, uh, great uh, positions. If the lads, Finnerty, can pick him up in them little in the little pockets of space. Phoenix Patterson hasn't had too much of a chance to get into this game. Yes, he was, I suppose, technically speaking, involved in the goal, but hasn't got a whole pile of decent service on that left wing. He is the kind of player who can bring himself into the game though that's it with his quality you, can, you know you still ha you can't give him any 
any inch because he could stick one in as we've seen uh, in the last couple of weeks eight Top minutes end. of additional time that stop seemed a lot longer it did yeah well we had someone singing and eating chips though I suppose it did and again they didn't offer us any Dara Power missed the header Manning goes to ground referee waves play on here's Shane Griffin and Nea Patterson good ball inside they try to find that Nea no Griffin keeps it going Walsh good ball towards Manley well the idea was good the execution not so much a little loose from Baptiste it's swept up by Bruder it's beginning to pick up a bit now there's a bit more uh, intensity out there it's a bit more frantic Conor McCormack always looks like he has time out to Hemmings Hemmings cross Stephen Walsh couldn't get on the end of it, but two water defenders did their job. They just stuck to it. Yeah, him. no, that's a that's a that's a great delivery in. Uh, just unfortunate for Stephen Walsh at the back couldn't get on. But um, Galway, as they're as they're pushing for the game, Galway United, he, Waterford, they have to be so careful because Waterford break at pace, and you've seen it there. They they nearly got in, and um, you know you had Patterson running off the shoulder. So that's where they're going to have to be careful of, and that's where John Coffey will probably be saying, yes, we want to push forward and we need to get another goal, but we need to get a goal but be careful at the back as well and they're going to eventually have to take a chance and gamble and they need to be re really clued in McCormack met it Dara Power Awashiria loses it free kick Conor McCormack takes it quickly but too quickly Manley is frustrated I think he was just try trying to hit it off Azim I think um, give it, to get him booked maybe but uh, it, that didn't work out for him unfortunately Sabawale Cantwell Washeria chests it down with a bit of a heavy touch Cantwell there again lifted out by O'Keefe towards Sabawale that's a lovely trick neat turn inside Cantwell need forward by Finnerty Griffin Patterson he has support. Dara Power is outside. Patterson brings it inside. Patterson takes a deflection, rebounds. And it's a free kick for Galway. Dara Power a little bit loose there. Yeah, and we can see there again what Patterson's looking to do. He's looking to come in on that right foot. Um, we've seen him, was it two weeks ago, that he took inside and put a top in. And, you know, I thought that was going to happen there again, but he just didn't catch it properly. Um, decent play by Ward. Kearns Ed McCarthy just bounces away from him just evades him on this solid turf the pitch by the way in absolutely brilliant condition and when you consider how that pitch started this season that says an awful lot about the work that has been done yeah it's in, it's in walked across it there before the game it's in great condition and it albeit a bit soft but uh, it's look, looking at it we nearly have a half a football over us and it's, it's looking great Conor McCormick Hemmings wants it. Waterford fanning across and blocking all the spaces. Forcing Galway to go backwards again. Bruder. Bruder tries the diagonal. Hemmings is running. Manley is running. Power again. Was very smart in how he defended. Well, in the first movement he was. Corner, is it? He's given away a corner in the second movement. The bounce just evaded him. Just caught him out of it. Yeah, he, just, he swiped at the clearance there as well. And... You know, he's, he's got caught under it. Um, no, another good opportunity here for, for Galway. Ronan Manning will take the corner kick. Eight minutes of additional time to be played. There's a little bit of jostling in the box. Dara Power went to ground, he's back up. Needs good delivery here from Manning. It's been fairly good all night from corners. So. Manning.
cleared. Comes to McCormack though, who knocks it back out towards Manning, but it wasn't a great pass. And Waterford get it clear. Awasharia has won it back. He's in behind here. That's a great finish. And Waterford lead by two. That's you can't let the ball bounce there as a defender. You can't. Max Hemmings, you've got to go and meet it. It's it's what a finish. A 12th goal this season for Awasharia. Waterford, even at this early stage, look like they're on their way to the playoff final. They're migrating to the terrace behind the goal right now. They'll be migrating to Dublin for next Friday's final. A huge Waterford crowd. They're overjoyed. Yeah, look, at they're, they're right in front of us here, and you can see see the uh, how excited they are and how happy they are. But look, at, from, from a game point of view, it's a disappointing goal for our goal to concede. You know, from a corner ball to play back out uh, maybe McCormick it was a McCormick that played it well let's have another look it McC came from a Galway corner that's the really frustrating yeah. thing from the tribesman point of view McCormick to, um, Dara Power just put it down the field but you can't let it bounce here you've got to come across and you've got to head it out of play you can't do that it's just you're, you're in bother straight away as a defender and it's uh, it's very very poor but could the keeper have done better as well uh, I think Awasharia just tricked him on how he shaped his body leading into the shot. Well, from Marseille to Waterford and in between Aldershot, Braintree, Hampton and Richard Burrow. It's been some footballing journey for Awasharia. I think this is one of the high points of that journey. Yeah, and what, a, what a, an awful time for Goal United to concede. And uh, like, at worst, John Coffey would have gone in one nil down at half time. Now you have a mountain to climb. And, his team talk is going to be a lot different in, in the second half and I'll go back to that conversation I heard during the week that if Waterford got ahead it would be even more difficult for Waterford well they're ahead by two now or it would be even more difficult for Galway and you look at the game overall Oshin, Waterford haven't opened up Galway and uh, created chance upon chance it's been two mistakes that has handed them the 2-0 the lead Hemmings McCormack Finnerty Bruder Baptiste away comes to Finnerty Keep in mind, Waterford went 2-0 up against Galway earlier in the season as well. The night of their first meeting at Eamon DC Park and Galway did come back in the second half. That game ended 2-0. Yeah. So there is precedent. Oh, there is. And, you know, if they could nick one here before half-time, it would definitely give them a chance. Here's the cross. Walsh tries to get something on it. He does, but he couldn't keep it on target. However, there was a touch off a defender on the way and it's a corner kick. We're still going. That goal obviously added to the injury time at the end of the first half. Eight minutes allotted, but the goal came in that eight minutes. So we will at the very least have time for this corner. Manning about to take it. Manning's corner. Comes back to Manning. Manning lifts it back in. Oh. And it's a decent save by Martin. Well, the last touch football is football so it's not done yet Alan Keane no it's not done and let's see what Galway United have to offer now in this half McCormack what do they need to do in the second half they need half? to start really really brightly and they need to start getting getting forward and putting pressure on and getting as much chances as possible and putting pin and water for back and uh, you know there's no point just keeping it at the back and, and think you've got to be someone got to be brave and step in and play and in fairness, they had an all right half that half. They had a few decent deliveries into the box, but they have to be clever as well not to get caught with a sucker punch uh, by the Waterford breaking. So, but what I wanted to get a great head in behind. He's onside. Was he clipped? I think he was. It's a free kick. Will it be more? Conor O'Keefe is frustrated. I it's yellow. I thought he was offside, uh, Bushy. Well, that's why I yeah. hesitated for a second. I thought he was offside as well. Thankfully, no VAR here. Yeah. Let's have a look. I thought he was offside. 
yeah, I think he's offside, yeah. Yeah, he looks offside. It's a bad call by the lino. So another free kick for Waterford, which we'll have a look at in a second. That's the FAI Cup final coming up on Sunday week. All the while, Waterford yeah. planning and plotting. There it is now. Uh, Well, Waterford taking their time about this free kick. I think they were waiting for us. Patterson and Coterna. These two linked up well in the first half. Can they do it again in the second? That ball, he can go around the Patterson ball Patterson takes a deflection and goes over rather than under. I think Curran's had it covered anyway, but it's a free kick or a corner kick for Waterford. So here's the decision that led to that free kick. Alan from that angle he looks off yeah but yeah he's off there you look at the lines on the pitch he looks off Waterford with the corner Junior and there must have been some pushing or shoving inside because it's a free kick and thankfully nothing came of that because I, I would have seen John Caulfield probably would have gone absolutely nuts because he was going nuts on the line as well See, he knows every little bit counts That's a free kick, Junior Quaterna. What an atmosphere around the ground. Pumped clear by Bruder. Lovely touch, but Dara Power just got a foot in. See this long throw again by Bruder. Can he Megan Campbell this one into the box? It used to be Rory's lap it into yeah. the box. Oh, she was unbelievable. That's not bad. That's a good flick on. Headed away. Go it back in. Tidied up by Cantwell. Looks so assured, doesn't he? They get away with one there, I think. Here's O'Keefe. Ed McCarthy. McCormack was waiting. McCormack back to McCarthy. Lifted into the channel. Can they get the oh, cross in? No, it just took yeah. a heavy bounce. I thought McCormack could have played him first time. Uh, that time, rather than coming back inside, um, it was a great run by Hemmings. Um, was it Hemmings? Uh, yeah, it was Hemmings. Yeah. He's made a great run. In fairness, he's been doing that all night. And I thought McCormick could have slipped him down earlier rather than coming back in. But it's a bit better by Galway. It's a, a little bit. Just nipping in there, McCormick. Flicked on by Manley. He was pushed in the back. It's a free kick for Galway. Yeah, and I see there, look, Stephen Watts is playing a lot closer now to Manley. He's, it looks like he's gone up up beside him, so that's an interesting move as well. It's like a 4 4 2. Manning and McCormick standing over and beside the ball. McCormack, it's decent. That's really good stuff from Martin. Strong stuff, O'Keefe. That's a great, great punch by uh, Martin. Hemmings, Ed McCarthy. Just wouldn't fall for a maroon jersey, but you can see what they're trying to do. Waterford, they'll go on the counter attack. Junior Quinterna. Quinterna. Just shows a little bit too much of that to the goalway defence in the end. Just go back to that. That's what you want as defenders. Your keeper coming like that. Because I thought when he was coming, he, he wasn't going to get it. But what a, what a punch by Martin. McCormick. Was at Manchester United for a time. Played in Italy. Has had great success in the League of Ireland. Conor McCormick. Won FAI Cups with City and Pats. A league winner with Cork City, Shamrock Rovers and Pats as well. He'd love to help Galway into the Premier Division. He re rebounds back into his path. Bumped off by Griffin, that's a free kick. Okay. 
Shane Griffin's 85th appearance for Waterford tonight. Spent some time on loan in Wexford in 2019. McCormack. Oh, that's Walsh. It. Oh. It's off the woodwork and then cleared by Anea. They were desperately unlucky. They might get another chance. McCormack goes to the wing rather than crossing it. Hemmings. And that's a throw in for Galway. No, it's not. I thought it was a throw in for Galway. Yeah, what a what a ball in by McCormack and uh, what a header by by Walsh. He's got, he's got up really really well. Great delivery. Well, this is what will give you hope if you're a Galway United supporter. That oh, moment there, they created the chance. They were very very unlucky. It's just a follow up as well. It's just a little bit. That's a better start mm. by going on the second half. They have they have really um, taken the game to Waterford. I have to say, I thought that was a throw in the other way. Now, I will repeat that the water fans who were behind the goal have surrounded us here, so our view is somewhat obscured. Yeah, and he seems to have given a free the other way. It looked just there. I think it was Stephen Walsh. He's going to get booked here for clapping the, uh, clapping the ref. Yeah. Yeah, you see, this is, this is where he's got to keep his discipline now, Stephen Walsh, because go, go United can't afford to lose anyone. Um, you know he's just still a bit uh, aggrieved by that free two goals against Waterford already this season he was so so close to a third hitting the woodwork Martin in absolutely no rush here O'Keefe for power Cormac away trying to get there is Thomas brave stuff from O'Keefe O'Keefe the blue supporters Roy Butler Memorial Club young player of the year for 2022 still only 22 see Waterford dropping back just not allowing any spaces not allowing any of the goalie players with a great ball it's a decent ball just a little bit too much on it that, that, that's something that Galway can handle of all the teams in the first division though they can win headers knocks down, knockdowns they're, they're kind of set up that well I don't know if they're set up that way but they have the weapons to combat that team's dropping deep no they do yeah and uh, the thing there with Waterford they're dropping deep not allowing any space and allowing the centre has to have it and there you go, you've seen the ball by Bruder. Um, you know, Stephen Walsh normally nine times out of ten will get up and win that, but uh, good defending and experience won by uh, Baptista. Flicked down by Stephen Walsh, but only as far as Baptiste. Max Hemmings chases after that one. Galway direct again Manley Baptiste dragged back by Anea could turn it lovely bit of skill Patterson's racing down the left it comes to him. Patterson Patterson to win it no can't keep it on target that would have sealed it had it gone in absolute afterburners on there um, you know uh, Galway they're looking to go long they went long but you've got to if you're going long like that you've got to pick up the second ball and that's what they failed to do to their, do there but Junior with a nice little nutmeg here as well I think it was yeah clever little play and what a ball what a ball he sent Finnerty to the shops there didn't he don't forget the milk <laughs> Griffin Patterson Patterson, you don't like football if this kid doesn't excite you. Patterson, cut out well by Bruder. And they chests it down into the path of his teammate. That's Dara Power. Patterson again. Patterson, cut out by Finnerty. And, like, to be fair, uh, Oshin, he's, he's a bit 
a little bit wider tonight than what we're used to, but you've seen there the moments of what he can do. You just have to keep your eyes on him because he's, the quality from, from the kid is, is excellent. Yeah, you see these juniors just come in. Nice little nutmeg there, Thomas. Great ball. Absolute afterburners. This is the tenth time Galway have played oh, a match at a neutral veil. There is a chance. Well, there could have been a chance. Up in the air it goes from O'Keefe. That's a Gary Owen. They'd be well used to that in this part of the world, Limerick. Away by Subo Wallet. Retrieved by McCormick. Bruder. O'Keefe. McCormick. I think we know how this ends. Go, we're going direct into the box. Yeah, and this is. They probably need. They need to make a change. They need to bring people on that's going to get on. We're here now. Look, need someone getting on the ball to unlock that defence. Well, someone has, but Dara Power nips in there and yeah. gets it away from Hemmings. It's just you know they've got to they've got to get bodies in. Maybe Heary or or, or Mikey Rowe. Two young fans around us here who want to get on the microphone. They'll take over in a couple of years. For now, you are stuck with Alan and I. I'm sh sorry. Two big Waterford fans. Into the box it goes. Headed clear by Awashiria. He can do it in attack and defence. On the run is O'Keefe. He wants it back from Walsh. Walsh, good cross. Good idea anyway. Cut out by Cantwell. Now it's Junior. Had a Nea outside. Instead goes to Patterson on the wing. It's always a good option. Patterson turning and twisting not a bad cross cut out good pressure put on by Dara Power but Waterford lost it again breaks kindly Ronan Manning Walsh is in the box but Power gets there again however he's given away a free kick probably see another yellow card here for power yeah I think that's deserving um, for Dara Power is both take it but this is it where McCormick again if he can get the delivery in Looks like uh, oh, we want to make a double substitution here. Not sure if they're going to do it before the, the free kick, but looks like they won't. McCormick about to deliver. Is this the moment Galway get back into the game? Not right now. It does fall to Ed McCarthy. Blocked again. Another go. Bruder. His shot couldn't find a way through. O'Keefe blocked it. Patterson gives away the throw in. Here comes the throw in. Manley throws his head at it. It bounced out of a Waterford body or head or something. Go, we don't care. They've got the corner. Yeah, they have. The, you know, they're they're really putting pressure now on Waterford. Like I said, there. You know, they're they're all this pressure. Waterford, in fairness, are defending well. Delib deliveries are crucial at the at these set plays. Of a wallet beaten to it, Ed McCarthy. Not a bad ball back in. Oh, side netting, side netting. He was desperately unlucky. Caught it well, Manning, but just wasn't accurate enough. Yeah, it's a great chance, you know. 
has he got it? He's got to go across the keeper, I think, there. Go, go across the goal to take a deflection, whatever. But he's done well, a good connection. Here's the chance. Great defending, though. No, that's the first one the, from the corner, I think. And news yeah. of a double change for Galway in just a second. But let's have a look at this Manning half chance, I think we'd, we'd yeah. have to call it. If he comes across the goal, you know, that you never know a deflection or something. So two changes about to be made for Galway. Coming in, Mikey Rowe, who scored five goals this season. Also coming in, Bastian Harry, the Madagascar international and former Waterford player as well. Yeah, I'd be looking to make an impact. And you see straight away Mikey Rowe has gone over to the right and Manning's come over here to the left. Uh, if there's anyone that can get on the ball, you need to get Bastian Harry on the ball and you know look, look forward, open up them little uh, gaps, mix it up a little bit rather than going direct the whole time. Two former Blues on the pitch for Galway United. Junior has support arriving from Subawale, might need it. Go, we get it clear, but it will be retrieved and retrieved well by Griffin. Well, he retrieved it well, the pass wasn't so good. Bastian Harry, who's played for Finn Harps and Linfield and many others, he's actually on loan from Finn Harps. They will be in the first division next season, that is absolutely certain. Who will be joining them? Will Waterford or Galway be staying? Will UCD keep their spot in the Premier? It'll all unfold in the next couple of weeks. Decent cross. Subawale turns it out for a corner. He was taking no chances. He, he great defending at the back stick. But you can see there, uh, Oshi, M Mikey Rowe, Bastian, Bastian Harry getting the ball straight away, playing in between the lines and then getting the wide to Hemmings. And uh, that's a bit better by Gal from Galway. And Waterford can't afford to stand off and sit deep. If they do, they're inviting the pressure. Mikey Rowe has hit form in recent games as well, which is a good sign for Galway. He sure has, yeah, so hopefully he can provide here. Here comes the corner, McCormack. Good spin on that one, but it's a Waterford head that gets there. Breaks kindly from Manning. McCormack could have crossed first time. Instead went to Bastian Harry. That's a good pass, Manning. That's what Bastian Harry has been brought in to do to hit those kind of incisive passes. Yeah, it's just to get him on the ball and, 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 and in them little pockets of space and see, can he, can he play? Look, at, can't go along the, for, the whole, for the whole game. Like, you know, and yep. you, need, you need players to be unlock the defence because in fairness, Waterford, they're holding their shape really, really well, but they're sitting deep and uh, Galway just have to play them long balls. So now the likes of Bastian Heary, Mikey Rowe, Mike Rowan will, will definitely help. Six goals in 58 games for Waterford Bastian Harry. Knows this field well as well, having played for Limerick. Galway with another half chance, but he just couldn't keep it on target. Unlucky, Mikey Rowe, his first involvement of the match since coming off the bench. Yeah, they've brought a good bit of energy as well. And look, Waterford can't, as I said, they can't keep it back because Galway are knocking on the door. And uh, if they get a chance, you know, there's still a lot of time left. Rowe scoring one goal across 19 appearances for Waterford. After that, spent five years in the States playing college football in lower league level over there, if you know what I mean, as in just below the M MLS. Patterson threw himself at that one there. Dara Power just allows it to bounce out. Waterford in no rush to keep no, this ball in play. You will see a lot of this now. It'll, be, it'll try to get going. Go United players frustrated. Um, there's nothing worse when you're playing and someone's taking their time, and it is frustrating. But Waterford, they're in the, the elite, so why not? A little bit of head tennis, a little bit of pinball. It all ends in a Waterford throw in. Dara Power. Manning, McCormick, Waterford have a player down. Manning. We'll get a look at that in just a second. Tied up by O'Keefe, sent long. Stephen Walsh, bit of a heavy touch. And Waterford, I think it's fair to say, kick for touch there to, yeah. kill it to uh, Killian Cantwell. Um, it was a strong coming together. I think it was a McCormick and Griffin. 
Shane Griffin, yeah. Yeah, it was right in front of the ref. And it's just one of those ones where you... Yeah, he's kind of kicked the yeah. bottom of, of uh, McCormick's boot. John Caulfield protesting to the officials. Meanwhile, play continues. Don't forget the final next Friday, wherever it's going to be between UCD and Galway or Waterford, will be live on LOI TV. And the LOI show live this Tuesday at 6 o'clock. Manning. O'Keefe is on the overlap. Manning. Free kick for Galway. Some hope for Galway. Yeah, Manning, it's a fair to Manning. He's having, he's having a decent game. And... You know, uh, by O'Keefe making that run, it just it makes Manning uh, gives Manning that option to go inside. It takes takes the defender away. You see it here. He's he's taken that run. He's opened up, become a one v one, and yeah, it's a free. And uh, so Buali w would want to be careful because he's on a yellow. Conor McCormack. Can the man from the Wee County make a big impact? Hangs it up towards the back stick. Baptiste got his head on that one. That's an unbelievable. That's experience, isn't that's it? That's an unbelievable header. I seen Paul Martin was about to come, but that's a great header. And even to head that uh, Oshie, he's turned his body to know where to put it out out for a corner. Excellent header. Well, we mentioned he's played in the Premier League 21 times. I know that was a long while ago, but he's over 200 championship appearances as well. He's a very experienced guy. You could see it there, oh. and it's off the line from Subo Wale. Go, you're knocking on the door, Oshin. Well, he's been in Waterford long enough, hasn't he? He's, uh, he knows the scene, and he gave it the full Chambalan fist bump there. That's a great That pass. was the turn away from Baptiste. Here's the corner from Manning. And Finnerty got his head on that. And that's a goal kick. Yeah, it wasn't a great corner by uh, McCormick there. In fairness, he's been good on them all night. But uh, yeah, that's a good, good, good defending by Sobo Ali. Great I love, clearance off the line. I love the Milan yeah. fist pump he gave. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Lifting the crowd here, yeah, he's You know, in fairness, Galway, they... They, they look a threat. They look more a threat from from a set play, in open play, not so much. They're, you know, they're huffing and puffing, but from definitely from corners or set plays, they look look uh, more more likely to score that way. I think I think O'Keefe in front of the back four is playing very very well, along with uh, Killian Cantwell. I think he's marshalling that area, not allowing them balls into the frontman. James Finnerty yet to score for Galway. That would have been a big one. It would have reinvigorated them in this game. Not done yet, but time is running out. Just over 21 minutes to go. Manning up against Sabuale. Manning. Good ball. Gets away from Harry, who actually did get a shot on it, but he was closed down. McCormack. Didn't get the kind of contact he was looking for on that one, Harry. It got away from me to stretch a bit. Yeah, he, he was just stretching on it. And McCormick there. McCormick's going to switch it out the far side. He's coming back into where the where the, the play originally came from. But, uh, yeah, it's a chance. You know, if, if Harry had, I suppose, a little a little bit more, he, he might have got his shot away. But it was uh, just a little bit too far away from him. Collected by Rowe. Hemmings deflects back into his path off and there. Bastionary. Rowe. Hemmings. Harry. Kind of forced it and it didn't really work. Junior Quaterna. Subuale running ahead of him. Subuale has some engine on him. He really does. Junior goes to ground, O'Keefe has given away the free kick. He's already on a yellow, he's not been broken on anything. No, no, I don't think that is a yellow either. Yeah, Subo Ali here in the second half, he's just up and down, he's some 
he gives you something to think about doesn't he it does and he's like, he's like another winger he's, he's flying up especially on the break he, the pace of him it just gives you a great out for Waterford Junior could turn it in no rush here Patterson makes his way over to him It will be Patterson. Dealt with by Galway. Harry tries to tidy it up further. I think there might have been a push or maybe did it go out of play either way. It's a free kick for Galway. It's an offside. The flag went up again. A few slightly obscured. We're, we're, at, uh, we're yeah. at crowd level, by the way, just to, just to let you know. <laughs> it is great, though, to be among the supporters. You're really getting a, a sense of the atmosphere. Proper feelage, yeah. I don't know, would it be good if they were losing to him this side? <laughs> Probably Waterford. not. Yeah. Finnerty. Niall O'Keefe. Manley tries to turn on this one. Manley gets the cross in, but there's no one there. No one he did the box, get yeah. he did win the corner though. He did win the corner, but like you're you're in a you're in a final, you've got to you know, you're in the playoff final, you've got to break an arm, break a leg to get in the box. No one was making no. the break. They're they're waiting for something to happen and that's you know it's disappointing to see. We'll take the second leg against Longford out of it and go. We haven't come into this one in particularly good form. Not a whole pile of momentum. Finnerty gets his head on it again, but can't direct it towards goal. The attack is still on though. That's unlucky. Not a bad effort. The flag was up anyway. Just Manning just came back to Manning, was it? Yeah, he's, Manning has had a He's had a decent game in fairness. If, if anyone that's looking to to create something, try and score, it, it, look, it looks like it's coming from Manning, you know. So um, Stephen Walsh and, yep. and Manley have kind of haven't had ha, haven't had anything. Um, in fairness, Waterford have, have really, really kind of crowded them out there with with uh, O'Keefe along the front of the two centre halves. Bruder wins it, but no one there to help him out, and it's just hoisted in the air by O'Keefe. And it comes off Manning, and it's out for a throw in. Subawale. Well, Galway have had more than their fair share of playoff hurt in the last couple of years. It looks like there'll be more hurt tonight. McCormick has to be careful. He is. It would be great if both of these teams were in the top flight. I think fans of opposition clubs would love it as well. They're both great trips, but that can't happen. No, unfortunately, yeah. It, it mightn't even be one of the two, Alan. UCD, they've... Exactly, they're, and, and they're on flying form at the minute as well. Mm -hmm. They really are. Andy Myler and his coaching set up. What a job they've done, and it must have really hurt Finn Harps last week. Well, it would have hurt anyway, but the fact that I think there was three or four Donegal lads playing for UCD. Now, the way it works, obviously, with the UCD is you're going to college there, so you play for them, but... And a, and a Donegal man part of the uh, backroom setup as well. Yeah, it's a... Look at... Griffin's clearance. Comes through a maroon jersey, falls to Harry. Manning. His shot smothered. And now a free kick. Yeah, Junior Quaternor getting in there. Going back to Andy Myler's done a, a superb job. A couple of weeks ago, he wouldn't have given UCD a chance at all. And uh, they've do dug out results. And, um, you know, with the squad that he has, and to go up there even to Finn, Har Finn Harps last week is a difficult place to go and to win and seal your, seal your, well, seal your playoff spot. Um, Let's have a look at this foul. I think he's just kind of kicked his leg, is it? Yeah, he's just taking a bad he's just taking a bad touch. And um I think it was Manning who took a bad touch there and he's Junior has stuck his leg out. Look Waterford will be relatively happy. Fifteen minutes to go, two 0 up here. Yeah, they haven't played overly great. Um so they still you know, they still have a chance, you know. 
We have to complete the Premier Division programme this Sunday night and I am very much saying it that way for a reason because there's nothing to play for but if you're a fan of these clubs you'll watch the games. St Pat's taking on Shelburne, UCD up against Shamrock Rovers, Drogheda meeting Finn Harps, Derry City play Dundalk. That's the only game where something is on and even at that it's not much. If Dundalk win by a good distance they could get second position Bowes hosting Sligo Rovers those games on this Sunday. We thought we'd have a grandstand finish instead it's Ending with a bit of a whimper, I'm sure if you're a Shamrock Rovers, Dundalk or Derry City fan, you don't particularly care. Derry City mounted a title challenge, but uh, obviously they've got a cup final to look forward to and they have got their European spot, as have Dundalk. Shamrock Rovers have completed the three in a row. Congratulations to them and their manager, Stephen Bradley. You wouldn't be human if you didn't feel joy for Stephen Bradley and uh, his family, given the situation that they've had to deal with this year and we send them our best wishes Bastionary Dara Power Power looking to squeeze one down the line, I'm not sure if he was going for Patterson or Awasharia there, either way it didn't get to a blue jersey Bruder Yeah, go back to Shamrock Rovers, it was great to see the kid lift the, lift the trophy as well Yeah, Josh, Rushing. yeah, yeah it, was, it, was, it was brilliant and uh, uh, Stephen Bradley yeah. was very emotional afterwards and, yeah. you know, fair juice to him Hemmings Something maybe on here for Galway, Mikey Rowe. That's blocked by Baptiste. He gets it away, only as far as McCormack. There's numbers inside. I thought he'd lift it in, but they'll try something different. Here's Bastian Harry. Manning with a decent turn. Getting away from Subawale. Manning, can he dig out across? Oh, That's a good. That's a penalty. It's a penalty. <coughs> Well, it's certainly worth another look. It was good attacking intent. No. It was a good piece of skill. And is he sent off? Subuali's so, taking him down. He should be sent off. No? It's a yellow card, really. And that's what they're complaining about. He has already been booked in the first half. It tends to be eventful when these two meet. Let's see yeah. what the final decision is of uh, referee Alan Patchell. Let's have another look. First of all, Alan, penalty, yes or no? Yeah, it's a penalty, clear penalty. And I, I question, should it be a yellow card as well on top of that? But uh, look, the referee, in fairness, is close on it. But this is a massive, massive chance that can swing the game. Go it. If they score this, they're right back in it. They need it. This will electrify their visiting supporters. Stephen Walsh, he has to score this. This to keep their season alive. Walsh. Oh. Great save by Martin. And it's followed up by Subawale who'll get it clear. Well, it had to go in and it didn't. And now Waterford are on the counter attack. And Nea has Awasharia outside. Keeps going himself. Gives it to Awasharia. Patterson's on the far side. He just holds it up. Gives it back to Nea. Junior Kutserna. And Nea. Shane Griffith looking for Patterson and finding him. Good turning, good twisting. It's rolled across oh. and then there couldn't keep it down. In to in. Um, now we might finally get a chance to look at that penalty. Yeah. It, well, it's definitely a penalty. It's definitely a penalty, yeah. He should be off the pitch, I think, here. But the, look at the referee, he hasn't done it, but... Great save, but it's a great height for the keeper. Happy and that will, the line. that will be extra frustrating for Galway, the fact that it was Subawale who was the first man to the break. Exactly. They might feel he should have been sent off. Great save, and if there's any man that you want on that penalty, Stephen Walsh, you know, under pressure. And it just hasn't been Galway United's night at all. Well, it mightn't be their night. If they lose tonight, it won't have been their season either. They'd one target this season get back to Premier Division football doesn't look like it's going to happen Subawale I'd say he's a mightily relieved man that's a brilliant ball sprayed across to Patterson who's got Junior Coturna running in behind he's got a wash away in the middle he doesn't need him Waterford are on their way to the final and that's the difference Dara a quick little break and it's gone you know and uh, you see there you, you have to get you're always going to get caught on the break but uh, that's the difference on both sides see the way chance goal you know and it's disappointing 
Very, well, let's have another look at that. The goal that has surely sealed Waterford's spot in the final next week. They went from conceding a penalty and having it saved to scoring just minutes later and it is a goal that surely has them on their way to the decider. Yeah, and it's a, it's a crossfield ball by Subo Ali. Uh, Patterson has done really well. Slips some perfect pass. Great strike. You know, um, I, I don't want to keep carping on. Can Should he have been on the field to play that's, this that's ball? the other side, but could the keeper have done better as well? Again, it's, it's, it, I don't think it's actually near a post. It's more kind of... I think like us, he was expecting the pull across yeah, to a washeria it didn't come great yeah, finish no, with the left at, great finish great play Qu uh, uh, great cross field ball by Subbu Ali Patterson perfect pass slipped them in game over 13 goals for Junior Quaterna this season and look look, look, look at how mad football is Oshin. you come along if, if Go United score that penalty Waterford are defending on their edge of the box and, 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 and see, trying to see out the game. Go, we were on top, and all of a sudden it's just come along and, you know, it's turned on its head. It's cruel. It's yeah, a cruel, cruel it's a sport. Cruel. It's a beautiful sport, but it can be very, very cruel. Now, Go, we're, I think it's fair to say, making the final throw of the dice. Charlie Lyons coming in. Lamboto's coming in. And there's one other player coming in as well. I think O'Keefe and Manning are going to... Yeah. Uh, Manning, Manning, I th thought was Galway's best player tonight. Galway Knight is best player in fairness to him. <coughs> and you look, you look at the game overall, Oshie. Waterford haven't been great. Probably better in possession. But uh, haven't been great overall t tonight. Galway probably maybe shaded us in terms of maybe uh, the better side or more... What would you say? Took the game, but uh, Waterford absolutely exceptional on the break and mistakes obviously first half comes back and, and kills you that's a beautiful death touch but he couldn't keep it in play just ran out of room Raul Uche hasn't been at Waterford very long but has impressed in his short time at the club Candwell I don't think knew where that one was going it comes back his way Uche knocked it down Is there a way back for Galway United? It looks unlikely. Dara Power. Well, it's a tough night for John Caulfield. Galway going direct again. It's flicked on by Manley. It's a good save. Oh, oh double save. And Walsh got on the end of it and couldn't get it past Martin he's just not going to be beaten tonight is he no it's just one of them nights for goal United unfortunately and Martin great great save he's actually that save he's touched it across he's touched it away from and to react that quick again and get up and save it great goalkeeper here's the corner from McCormack does a little shuffle nice dink ball it's bouncing around it's still alive for a goal back out to McCormack McCormick lifts it up and it's a corner kick for Galway this is uh, the story of Galway United's night though uh, O'Shea there's a lot of the deliveries into the box you know? so here's the missed penalty Martin saving it from Stephen Walsh Subo Wale who gave away the penalty who some would argue shouldn't have been on the pitch. Not only did he get to the break after the keeper saved it, he didn't then delivered that delicious ball to Patterson. Junior could turn it. Everyone thought he was going to pull it back, but no, took the shot. He's, got a wonderful yeah, goal. He's second of the night. Good goal. Um, maybe again, as I go back, the keeper might have, could have done better, but look, at not taken away from the, the quality of the, of, the, of the play from Waterford and uh, finish. Waterford making another change. Coming in, Dean Larkin. And going off is Anea. Larkin making just his 12th appearance of the season. And they can't keep their header down. 
Still only 19, Dean Larkin. And he's another local as well. He's from Tremor. It's been a roller coaster season. They know all about roller coasters in Tremor. It's just to clarify, Alan, just in case you don't know your Waterford geography, it's it's the Waterford version of Salt Hill. Oh, is it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not as good as Salt Hill, though. It's way better. Yeah. yeah. No, I can't give you that no. so if, you can, if you can believe it it's where I trained to be a lifeguard of course you wouldn't believe that looking at me now but great place great town why are you swimming in a bath <laughs> <laughs> no need for that brother of former blue Jack Larkin so has a strong family connection to the club there's a number of them actually in the Waterford squad at the moment up in the air by Niall O'Keefe and headed away by James Finnerty yeah, look at it. It's tough now for the Galway United players in, out there. They know that the that the game is gone. Um, they just play for pride now. It's just it's just disappointing for them, and it just hasn't been their night. And the Waterford fans in no rush to give the ball back. Pump clear by McCormick. Baptiste gets his head on it again. Patterson has a man out wide that is Uche go it get it back intercepted by O'Keefe Junior could turn it in plenty of space remember he's on a hat-trick but instead they just keep the ball do the smart thing Cantwell gives it away now driving on Dean Larkin Larkin still only 19 Baptiste on the other end of the spectrum, I think it's fair to say, age-wise, the offside flag goes up. He didn't look offside there, did he? Unless he came back. Um, no, but we spoke about the game, how, how going either deal with the, with, with the with the forwards that uh, Waterford have, and unfortunately they, they didn't tonight. And look at Juniors popped up with two, and, and then Wazim uh, scored the other. You know, so it is um, it's frustrating as two of them came from mistakes, and uh, John Coffey will be would be bitterly disappointed to go out in this way. He may also be asking why wasn't Sabuale sent off. Picked up a yellow card in the 26th minute, gave away the penalty in the second half, wasn't yellow carded for us. That's not far away, but just not close enough. Stephen Walsh again getting his head on it. It's hard on him. He's had a great season, but it will end in disappointment. He's had a great season, yeah. He's shown up there as a makeshift uh, striker and uh, to produce 16 goals is, is phenomenal, you know. Um, for a lad that played left back centre back you know um, he's Galway through and through and uh, he'll be bitterly disappointed and upset especially as well missing the penalty um, you know he'll feel hard done by because he'll feel like if he scored that penalty the game would have been different it was 2-0 at that stage that would have brought us back to 2-1 and it would have given us a grandstand finish Bastian Harry too much on that one Waterford have shown great energy throughout the night though they have they've shown great energy and, and what also they have is, is they haven't panicked and they've defended when they had to defend the two boys centre half Cantwell and Baptiste have been excellent along with O'Keefe in, in front of them and they, O'Keefe you see there he's just marshalling the lads in, uh, across in front of them it's, it's been good to watch they've dealt with anything goal we've thrown at them and uh, the only mistake they made was giving away that penalty really well this is a neutral venue but it feels very much like a Waterford home game at the moment that stand over on the far side beginning to empty out that's where the bulk of Galway supporters were tonight it's not such a long trip back to Galway it is a long wait though until next season and it I'm sure feels like an almightily long journey back to Premier Division football from here Conor McCormack Finnerty given the facilities they have aim in DC Park and the support they have and the the match nights they have, it feels like Galway should be playing in the top flight, but you have to earn it. Yeah, you do, and it, it is difficult, and once you're there, once you go down there, it is so hard to get back up, and you see such good teams, you've seen with, with Cork City, it, it took them a while, now they're back up, and it's the main thing is, oh, chance, and the main thing is, can they, can they stay in it and sustain it next year, but Waterford themselves have a, have a great setup. they've come through a lot in the last couple of years, yeah, the RSC has been turned into a really good match and venue here. He's crossed yeah. too close to Paul Martin. So that now they've got up. With the, uh, now they have a chance of getting up. They're not up yet. It'll be great to see them in the in the in the Premier Division. But UCD, they've been there, done that, and it's going to be uh, if Anthony, it's going to be a good footballer. Well, you could see 
the crowd and the atmosphere Waterford brought to that cup semi-final against Shelburne I was at the game against Dundalk that was amazing as well they also brought a large crowd away to aim in DC Park this season uh, earlier on against Galway that 2 all draw that was right at the start of the season and they will bring a big crowd again next Friday, no doubt. And uh, people go on about they'll have the biggest, they'll have a bigger crowd than UCD. Mm. UCD are used to that all year. And they won't mind that. They just go out and enjoy their football and try to consolidate, consolidate the Premier Division status. So we're in for a great game next week. Sometimes life brings you back to where you started. It will be Waterford and UCD yet again in the promotion relegation well playoff saved. final. And that's a good save from Martin. Decent shot from Hemmings. tough night for Galway it's a tough night for John Caulfield into the box it goes Rowe can't get there they'll go again Hemmings Lamboto was waiting for it but it didn't fall to him much to his credit he wins it back gets the throw in Bruder into the box Galway trying to give their fans something to cheer He's cool under pressure there, isn't he, Raul Uche? Bastian Harry under pressure from Dean Larkin. Great touch from Bastian Harry. Well, they lost David Hurley in the first half through injury. That was a, a big blow. He's had a great season for Galway United, but I think it's fair to say that Waterford have been the better team. But from the Galway point of view, they might argue with some of the decisions. Yeah, but it's the mistakes. Um, go your second half, possibly. Uh, maybe a little bit better. Uh, come out better. Than, Waterford didn't need to come out and attack. They just needed to, to catch them on the counter. And that was that's what they've done. And their first two goals did come from Galway mistakes. Yeah. Larkin. Followed by Bastionary. Larkin. He'll stand over this for the next while if he can. Rolls it down for the run of Patterson. Patterson can't keep it in play. A minute for the Waterford fans to enjoy the end of this one and then thoughts will immediately turn to the clash with UCD. Keep yeah. an eye on the uh, SSE or Tristy League social media channels for confirmation of the venue. No doubt there'll be a party in Waterford tonight uh, with the supporters but I'm sure Danny will have the players in probably for a cool down tomorrow morning and get them back, back at it that you have won nothing yet. Bruder. It will all mean very little if they can't complete the final hurdle if they can't jump back into the Premier Division it's where they feel they should be it's where they want to be they were relegated last year in heartbreaking circumstances beaten fair and square by UCD in the playoff despite a great effort but I think they expend, expended so much energy towards the end of the season by the time they played UCD they were down so many bodies and they were just they were jaded as an outfit and that's it and they look really really sharp here tonight they look really fit they look you know they look hungry and when you have players like the junior you, uh, Patterson's you know, you're always a threat. And in fairness, Junior has been superb tonight. It'll be a good game of football. UCD play a beautiful style. Mm. Waterford will take on UCD 